the most incredible abandoned equipment. Batmobile. If you had a famous car, you would take care of it 100%. And it's completely unclear to me how anyone could leave this car just to rot in the woods for more often. The photographer, who discovered this find, did not indicate its location, perhaps for personal reasons. As you can see, the condition of this unique vehicle is simply terrible. We can certainly assume that this car was once exhibited in a theme park. But still the question remains, why did the owner show such careless attitude to this Batmobile? Herkimer Battle Jitney In fact, Herkimer Battle Jitney is an armoured tank which was created specifically by the military for purely defensive purposes. At some point it was abandoned for years and then it was sent to the dump. Its owner, Sally, insisted it had been considered trash for a long time, but neither she nor the staff had the tools to scratch it. The director of the movie, Mr. Mann, also found out about the car. He wanted Herkimer Battle Battlejitney in his film. And so it happened. You can see this car in the battle with the Valian of Kazan Frankenstein. And of course, it's been repaired and slightly upgraded before. It was not a stupid decision, because on the screen, the car looked very impressive. Cadillac Mille Meteor, 1959. I present to you a car from Ghost Hunters. Of course, this car is not as iconic as a Batmobile. However, it still remains one of the most recognizable car in the world. Most people assume that this one modernized the hearse. But in fact, it is a repurposed Cadillac Miller Meteor from 1959. One of these cars was used in the shooting of the second film by Ghost Hunters, but the car was once involved in an accident and its owners had to repair and restore it back in 2007. But the restoration project was cancelled for unknown reason, and since then this car has joined the rest of the automotive ghosts. The top secret screen in front of you air car ND160 called Moon. It's really something special. The vessel was designed by Rostislav Alexeyev for the Soviet Navy. From 1987 to the mid-90s, just imagine this aircraft is considered the largest in the world because its length is 73 meters. By the way, another unique difference from other objects was the fact that it was the most advanced technology installed in it, created by the latest at the time. The vessel was lifted into the air by turbojack engines. The moon was considered a military vehicle, so it was equipped with six rocket launchers, which engineers installed in pairs. It was planned that the ND-160 would be a kind of fast flight hospital that would be able to pick up the wounded and injured on land near the sea, close to various hot spots. The most frustrating thing about this situation is that when 90% of the, all the work on the project was already done, the government simply stopped funding the project. Well, all construction was halted that floating giant was left to its own devices. Magbarge. I'm pretty sure almost nobody knows this abandoned barge, on board of which was the famous Bank Donald's fast food restaurant. In 1987, the world was presented with the ship, which was designed by the company Robert Allen, and it cost 12 million dollars. And author it was not the first of its kind floating McDonald's. Its originality was in a stylish interior and all employees were obligated to wear the marine uniform.
And you know, this place became very popular during the whole duration of the exhibition. It was even planned that the mud barge would continue to work. But for unknown reason, the floating mud barge was never officially opened. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thanks for sharing and bye-bye.